Hi there, I'm Chilton Webb. I am the creator of Glycon. Glycon is a motion capture platform that uses your VR headset to let you create uh, animations for movies, games, whatever you want. It lets you create motion capture data and save it out just like wearing a mocap suit. The only difference is it just uses your VR headset. Uh, if you get real fancy, it can use some Vive trackers. And I'm gonna show you some of that today. So right now I have a Vive tracker on a hat. Use a special 3D printed uh, piece you can get off the Liberty 3D website. And I'll hop in here to uh, the Vive trackers. And as you'll see, it lists left, HMD, right, and T1. T1 is tracker one. We have this doll over here. And the doll has all these points on it that are various places on the body that you can attach a tracker. So for example, if I wanted to attach my uh, foot, this tracker to my foot, I could do that. I could click tracker, foot, boom. And now, here on the table, my tracker is my foot. See that? That's all it takes. Um, but I don't want to attach it to my foot. I would like to attach it to, uh, to my head at the top. So I'm going to do that. All right, so you notice that the head's a little bit distorted here, and that's because uh, the rotation is wrong. Well, easy way to fix that. First first off, the tracker, the, the green part of the tracker, the green light should always be upward, but in this case, it's sideways, and I'm just showing that to, to make a point here. You can click the arrow keys on the keyboard to recalibrate the direction that the uh, tracker is gonna face. And so now we're facing the correct direction. So I, that's all it takes if you wanted to uh, attach a tracker to a particular part of your body. And then, so the next thing you can do here is, so let's say you set up all the trackers on your body. You go over here to save, and you click save, okay? That is saved. Now the next time you come in, all you have to do is click load. In fact, there is now a keyboard shortcut for that that will load all of your trackers when you come in. And that'll be included in the next, uh, in the notes for this version of Glycon. So, that is, uh, that's how the tracker system works. Now I'm gonna put my HMD back on. There we go. And I'm gonna gra go grab uh, that doll again. I'm gonna set the HMD to the top, to the front one here. Clink. And now I am back to normal. Don't need that anymore. So I'm gonna do, uh, I'm just gonna hop out of here. Now. Here's the next interesting thing. That is clone mode. Let's show it. Let me show you what clone mode does. I've uh, just reset the, the room orientation so that I'm a little farther back. And I'm going to hop into uh, light, the record mode. And I'm going to record an animation. In this case, I'm going to record this. Um, Let's see here, ad living this, this may be terrible. That is one ugly hat, but it's not as ugly as that guy's hat over there. He has the ugliest hat, wouldn't you say? Okay, so I've recorded that, hop back in here. Go to clone mode, summon the clone. And I'm going to uh, click on the floor over here and move my clone to, say, here. Now, I'm going to move him over here so you can... Oh, I'll move over here. There we go. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to load that animation. Now, this animation, if I wanted to go export it right now, this would be a good time to do that because it's saved only on this clone. Oh, oh, actually, it's only saved on this avatar. I've copied it to this clone. I could save it right now, save it out, and then when I do my next animation, I can save that one out and the two will match up perfectly. But in this case, um, I don't have time for that. I'm just trying to show you a demonstration, so we're gonna do this. I, I've placed him over here, I've loaded his, and I hit play. And you'll notice that he's playing out that part there. Okay, so I'm gonna hop into uh, record mode now and record my new animation. That's very interesting. I don't like that guy's hat either. Let's see. So he's saying uh, the, the blah, 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 the hat, blah, 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 that guy's hat. That guy? Oh my God, that guy's hat is horrible. Okay, now I've recorded that and I could go back in here and I could export that. And now I have two animations, basically me animating against myself. And I never had to leave Glycon to do the animations and the two should sync up perfectly. 
In addition, I could do something like go here, and I could grab a sword, and I could, you know, fight with a sword, and I could have him fight with a sword. That's how that works. Um, so the whole point behind this is I wanted to create a system where you can have that guy over there, who is you from earlier, interact with you from now, and then save both animations out so that they create a better animation uh, mix overall. And that's the idea. Also in this version, we have a much improved FBX export process. It's faster, it's cleaner. It makes a, an FBX file that basically works pretty much everywhere. It should work just pretty much everywhere. It should be perfect. Um, so this version is going out right now today. A little bit later today, I need to um, send out an email that explains everything. We have a whole slew of keyboard shortcuts now that let you load things from the keyboard. So if you're using uh, the tracker mode that I showed you earlier, where you have this uh, one guy on your head, boop, you can now um, set all of that up, set all of your trackers up, and then, uh, and then come in here and, and you're, no, right now I'm completely wireless because the HMD is the only thing that has a wire on it. This tracker and these hand controllers are wireless. I could put more trackers on and dance around the room if I wanted to. You can too. So this, uh, the keyboard shortcuts allow you to basically set all this stuff up and then with one hit, one key, when you come back in a Glycon, it reassigns everything and then you're set. And so this should greatly simplify all the animation problems that a lot of people are having with really elaborate rigs. I'm hoping to make uh, this really easy for everyone, so please let me know if it's working, if you have any problems with it, anything at all, and I will uh, take a look at that immediately. So if you want a copy of this, uh, go to liberty3d.com slash glycon or visit us on Facebook at facebook.com slash glycon VR. Um, and everyone who is a registered user who bought the Indie Pro or Elite versions will get a copy of this. If you bought the Indie version over the summer, you'll get a copy of it. If you bought it before the summer, uh, that's what the Indie version is. It's only for a couple of versions, and then, and then it, you, you own those versions for life, but you don't get unlimited um, new versions after that. Uh, so those are the people who are getting a free copy today. Um, please let me know what you think. I cannot wait to see what people ma start making with this. Um, I, I've already seen a ton of really cool animations, and I can't wait to see more. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.